guys, hey, it's Zach here. Um, just quickly gonna say I've got my eBay, or excuse me, e Hobby Asia order here, and we're gonna get right into that. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not excited with the Casey Anthony thing, and I'm not gonna talk too much about it other than I'm just I'm disappointed in those jurors, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there was definitely enough evidence to say guilty, in my opinion. Uh, there is a lot of court cases that have a lot less evidence. There's no DNA evidence in this case, but there are plenty of, of, of cases that had no DNA evidence and they found the person guilty. So it kind of just disappointed me um, that they couldn't put any common sense together and say, hey, there's something wrong. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this eBay eHobby Asia thing. So it's pretty cool how I've got bipod here so I can make it easy to open and watch for now. Here's the crazy thing about this. Um, this shipment went to Ontario here in California but then went to Alaska and came back. So it went through customs twice. I'm not sure how come that happened with uh, <clears throat> UPS, but at least it got here. It got here rather quickly than I expected. Very nicely packaged. You can see right at the top here. Very nicely packaged. Tokyo Murray magazines. Straight from Hong Kong. That is the coolest thing when you think about that. Hey, this came from Hong Kong. Most of the airsoft stuff comes from out of country anyways, but I mean, just thinking about it, I bought this from a Hong Kong place. Okay, so here's three. Dang, this is pretty cool looking. That is pretty cool looking. I thought when I was going to get this stuff, that it was going to be cut out and everything. I am just surprised at... Let me move the camera for a second. I'm just surprised that it's not the trademarks, if there's any on the box, it doesn't seem to be cut out. Maybe it's just inked out, yeah. See, they markered that. But it's cool how they didn't cut it out, at least. So there's the two. <clears throat> We've got the M93R for Tokyo Murray AEP and the USP HK Tokyo Murray. I believe it's an HK. Yeah, it must be because that's what they covered. Um, here's a magazine for USP. 100 round. Wow, look at that. That is freakishly huge. So I got two of those and then I have four of these <clears throat> Tokyo Murray spare magazines for the M93 RAEP. Here's the pistol. What's this? Something from e Hobby Asia here. You can get some kind of little sling attachment. It's pretty cool. Maybe for a keychain. All right, let's get right into these uh, pistols. Let's check this out. This is a well-made box. Oh, we got it taped on the back. This box, surprisingly, is a very nice box. This is surprisingly a very nice box. It's well made. You can tell by looking at it. This is not airsoft crap box that I usually get when I buy airsoft weapons. Um, let's see what the inside's like right away. Because I can't wait. Can you? You bet not. I'm sure somebody's looking at the Spence. Alright, let's check it out. Wow, look at that. The way this is packaged is just 
great. I mean, there's the magazine, instructions, everything there. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. They covered up the trademark. It looks like you just removed the tape here, and here, and here. Wow. This pistol feels worth the money. I can already tell you, I love this. Wow. Tokyo Marine, you blew me away. I've This is my first... Whoa. First pistol, Tokyo Murray. How do you open this clip? Hmm. Oh, I see. Doesn't seem to want to come out though. You know, I'll have to mess with it and look at the instructions, but this dang thing looks freaking. The feel and construction of it, look how thick looking it looks. Um, I'm sure as we get inside of it, it's well freaking made. This is the bomb. I would say worth every cent. 140 something dollars I think it was. Oh, check it out. Check it out right here. <clears throat> Attachment rail. It looks like there's a serial number right here. It's supposed to be fakish, but I mean there's trademarks and everything. This looks like it just simply goes on here like this. Yeah, it must go on right there like that. I'll put that on later. Um, and that's all I pretty much got. Here's some BBs. And this, so this didn't come with the uh, <clears throat> the battery. Right, let's put that to the side. Now the M93R. Oh yeah, I forgot There's more tape. More and more tape. Now it looks like the box got a little damaged here. It's a little messed up, but I'm sure that's not gonna have any thing to do with the pistol. Come on. I swear sometimes the tape is stronger than the scissor. Again, they put styrofoam on the top here. Not sure why in that spot. Oh well. Okay. Just the magazine. Users manual. Wow, look at this thing. Again, this thing feels solid as a rock. For, for plastic, BS. This is this feels solid. Wow, look at that. I mean, this looks freaking amazing. I'm not sure how to open this. thought I remember in a video you pull down some slide and something. Here, you pull this down. Can't remember. But this gun... It's just really cool. I mean, you can imagine that. It's just so well made when you look at it. It's, it's just blows me away how strongly hard it is. Oh, there we go. The magazine came out. Look how long that sucker is. You can tell from here it's got to be long to go in the pistol. Wow, and it slides in there perfectly. This is way better than my Sima pistols and the plastic on it is thick I mean it's just surprising it's painted nicely it looks like a nice finish this is the bomb right here I am so happy with my purchases this USP and the M93R Tokyo Marui might just only stay with Tokyo Marui because it's just amazing amazing looking Anything else in the box? We've got the unjamming rod. And this must have some BBs or something. That's it. Bag of BBs is junk, probably. 
think I'm going to be able to read that. <laughs> wow. That is really cool. All right, guys. I'm out.